Let me show you around Ringatel and how it works with Fusion PBX, a free and open source graphical user interface for free switch. After creating a Ringatel account, we will be redirected to the Ringatel provisioning portal, which is an easy to use and flexible solution that allows us to configure our soft phone deployment. Firstly, we need to configure a new organization which is basically a way to manage PBX users under a single domain. Ringatel partners can create any number of organizations for their clients. For each organization, we need to specify its name, a unique domain, and a region which should be closest to our PBX location. This domain is already created, so we'll make it unique and hit Next. Now, we will specify connection settings, or in other words, a provisioning profile. We will enter a connection name, IP address or host name of our existing PBX. Let's switch to our Fusion PBX admin portal and copy its public IP address. If your PBX located behind the firewall, make sure to allow incoming connections from Ringatel servers. Please read our documentation to learn more. Optionally, enter a SIP port, if different from a standard one, and select the transfer protocol. There are a few other settings available, like SIP proxy, audio codecs, etc., which will be automatically provisioned for all soft phone users. If on a later stage we will change anything here, it will be automatically changed for all users created under this particular provisioning profile. And users don't need to relog in from their apps or change anything manually. Lastly, we need to create or import our PBX users. We can do this manually or import altogether from a CSV file. Let me show you how it works. Let's switch to our Fusion PBX admin portal where we have our list of extensions already created. We will use export feature to save them into a CSV file. Here we just select fields that we need in our file. We need extension, password and directory full name and hit export. Let's go back to our Ringo admin portal and continue setup. Select our file and hit next and all our PBX users are ready to be imported. In our CSV file, we can additionally specify email accounts for our users. In this case, they will receive a welcome message with provisioning instructions and QR codes to easily get started with Ringatel apps. Now, what if not everyone in our company needs a soft phone, or Ringatel soft phone in particular? We can just remove these records but instead we will create so-called unactivated users who will not use Ringatel apps, but their contact records will be pulled into a shared directory for each Ringatel user with BLFs auto-provisioned. You'll see how it works in a few moments. For now, we will simply uncheck boxes for such users and hit import. When the import is finished, we can see that random passwords were generated for each user, which means that they don't need to enter their real SIP credentials to log into the apps, keeping them secure. Hit close. And that's the end of basic soft phone configuration, and we can now log into the Ringatel apps. But first, let's do one more thing. Uh, we will import external contacts so our users can handle calls more efficiently. Contacts can be imported from a CSV file or external service like CRM, Service Desk, etc. For this demo, we prepared the CSV file. Now we are all done here, so let's look for the welcome email where we can just follow the instructions to get started with Ringatel apps. Let's take a look at the iOS app features. 
To configure our soft phone, we will simply scan a QR code from our welcome email. And we are now ready to make calls through our PBX and collaborate with our colleagues. In the Contacts tab, we can see all our colleagues and their real-time statuses, as well as all external contacts that we created in Ringotel admin portal. To dial or chat with a colleague, we can simply tap on the contact record and use the quick actions. Let's send a message to Emmy. She will see it once logged in. Here we can send photos, media, files, contacts, locations and audio messages. We can quickly switch to audio or video call using the icons on the top right corner. By tapping on the contact's name on the top, we can turn off or on notifications from a particular user or a group, see their profile or create a new group. Now let's make a call. Switch to the keypad tab and dial a number. Please enter your password, followed by pound. You have zero new messages. You have one saved. Hi, welcome to Ringo. Please hold, someone from our team will speak. We can also call people from our phone book without importing them into our contacts directory. To see the call's history, switch to the Calls tab. We can create a new contact from our dialed numbers. Lastly, open a menu tab where we can change our present status, profile information, call settings, import contacts from your phone book, and change privacy settings. Now let's have a look at Ringotel desktop and Android apps. To log into the desktop app, we will use the same credentials from our welcome email. We can register a single user account on any number of devices. When logged in, firstly, we can see that all calls and chats history that we made on our iOS app is here. That is because all our conversation and settings are synced in real time between all our devices. Now let's switch to Android app. For this demo, we have Android emulator app, where we will register with another user, Emmy. To get the login credentials, we will go back to our Ringotel admin portal and reset the password. Because we can't obtain this information from admin portal once we close the panel with auto-generated passwords. In Android Emulator, we can scan a QR code, so we will enter these details manually. Once we logged into the app, we are now ready to make calls through our PBX and collaborate with our colleagues. We can see some missed messages from Tony. He is online, so let's call him. If we switch to the Ringotel admin portal, we can see users' BLFs in real time once they are once they're on a call, online or offline. Let's get back to our Android app where on an active call panel we can start we can start call recording transfer that call to another extension using attendant or blind transfer initiate a conference put a person on hold mute our mic or enter a chat 
Let's finish that call. And view our call activity details. Here we can listen to call recording, enter call details that can be synced with your cloud business tools like CRM, Service Desk, etc. We can mark this call as favorite to easily find it later on, where when we have much more calls here. And of course, if we'll switch back to our Fusion PBX admin portal, we'll see all calls that we've made through Ringatel apps in call detail records.